Since the beginning of recorded history, humanity has clung to the belief that a perpetually near final disaster awaits the earth. Most of the world's major faiths promulgate this perspective by presenting eschatologies, philosophies of the world's end. Zoroastrianism, the ancient Persian faith out of which many dualistic religions have grown, presents a cataclysmic rebirth for the planet. Men will be assembled at the Sadvastaran, where all will be judged based upon their deeds. The good will be sent to heaven, and the wicked will be sent to hell. That's from chapter 2 in a very interesting little book called Cosmic Suicide, The Tragedy and Transcendence of Heaven's Gate by Rodney Perkins and Forrest Jackson. And uh, that's from Penta Radio Press. Uh, Forrest ja I, don't, I don't know Rodney Perkins, but I, I do know Forrest Jackson, and uh, he is a, he's a really great guy, a good writer, too. Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. Today I'm going to devote uh, the show to uh, the criminal Zionist state of Israel. And uh, obviously, uh, all of you already know about the attack that Israel uh, launched against a relief flotilla of volunteers heading to the Gaza Strip to try and help the Palestinians in Gaza who have been forced into a worse ghetto situation than the Jews ever had to experience during World War II. And who is forcing this on the Palestinians? The Gazans? Israel. The Zionist criminal state of Israel. Why should we be surprised? We should not be surprised. You know, we're coming up on an anniversary here. June 8th, when the USS Liberty was deliberately and maliciously attacked by the Zionist criminal state of Israel, on purpose, with an effort made on their part to kill everyone on that ship, and to utterly wreck it, causing it to sink. No doubt planning on blaming it on Egypt. But thanks to the heroism of the people that survived, they kept the ship afloat. And it has been nothing but a fucking embarrassment to the administration in the United States ever since. Do you want to know why? Because the Zionist element in this government and in every U.S. administration since the 60s, at least, has virtual control over anything and everything that has anything to do with Israel or the Middle East. Let's talk a little bit more about the criminal Zionist state of Israel. Let's talk about how during the founding of Israel, Zionist crazy motherfucking terrorists killed and murdered Jews in order to gain sympathy and blame it on the Arabs. Let's talk about the criminal Zionist state of Israel forcing the Gazans to live in the most deplorable conditions and refusing to allow a relief flotilla of ships to land to give them necessary supplies. No, no, they don't even just stop the flotilla. No, 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 not Israel. Israel has to board and shoot and murder people because that's what they do. That's the thing they do the best. Look at their history and you see it. It is completely bloody. 
This is the criminal Zionist state of Israel. Do not be surprised by anything they do, because Zionism, as a political ideology, says that Israel must exist. And because Zionism has infiltrated just about every place in the world, it has an inordinate amount of control. It has infiltrated fundamentalist Christianity that believes that Israel existing as a nation is part of biblical prophecy. And these very same people, such as people like John Hagee, who is the worst piece of crap idiot moron that I've ever seen in my life loves and supports Israel more than he ever cared about his own fucking church and his own fucking people and Jesus for that fucking matter he makes me want to puke and everybody else like him and do you expect do you think that there will be any kind of response from this administration to Israel's open, naked aggression and murder whenever they sat mutely by for 40 years denying and covering up the USS Liberty. It will be no different now. Look, even in Congress you have people who say they are staunch and steadfast supporters of Israel. Well, Mr. Congressman, and how about you, Senator Schumer, who say you will defend Israel with every bone in your body? Who do you fucking work for, motherfucker? Are you paid by Israel? Well, you probably are. And the Mossad, yes, probably them too. So why the fuck are we giving you a salary? And who the fuck do you represent, motherfucker? The White House, completely filled with Zionists. Some Jews, some not. Do you have Rahm Emanuel there? Do you think he's going to let his little puppet that he can't leave out of his sight for five fucking minutes bury motherfucking Sotoro come down on Israel? Because of this latest outrage and murder? No, of course not. This is nothing to Israel. Nothing. They blandly slaughter and murder thousands, millions if they had to. If it was part of their agenda to keep their state, to grow their state, and the very fact that they have these people who have a right to the land that they should be possessing walled up in a fucking humanitarian nightmare over there should tell you exactly what Zionist Israeli people think of anybody but Israel and everything that has anything to do with it. That is, they're worse than nothing. So it doesn't matter who stands in their way, they'll crush them. That's their nature. It's what they do. Sad to say, they're very good at it, too. And you watch them wiggle out from under this. Because the U.S. is going to be nowhere. If they say anything, it'll be the simplest little tiny slap on the hand, and I even doubt that. Because Zionism, as a political ideology, is too infested in our government. And when you have senators like Charles Schumer, who says... I will defend and support Israel with every bone in my body. And he is actively doing this. What the fuck does that say about our system of government? Hmm? Will you go, Chucky? You support the criminal Zionist state of Israel. And you support their wholesale murder and slaughter. Yeah, and you can collect a check off of us, too people you're supposed to represent and work for. 
What the fuck? Thank you. Good night.